Here's Brody Brazil. Today we're going to look at something so simple that even experienced pilots get confused by on a regular basis. The difference between the Pappy and the Vassy and how to actually remember which one is which. So let's begin like this. Both of these have some similarities. They are devices that help you fly a three degree glide slope from wherever you're at down to the touchdown zone of a runway. You can use a Pappy or a Vassy at daytime or nighttime, and it's not for really precision flying. It's not like flying an ILS or a glide slope, but it is nice confirmation, especially if you are at an unfamiliar airport, there's sloping terrain, and you're just trying to confirm that yes, you are on a proper glide path, or maybe that you're a little bit low or a little bit high. Now, fun fact, before we get into the differences here and how they look and what they do and how to remember that, these lights actually don't change. I know we're going to be talking about red lights and white lights. And at first, when I was learning how to fly, I remember thinking, well, how do these lights know where I'm at and how to change for me when in actuality, the light never changes color? The way it works is that the lens refracts different color of light depending on where you're at. If you're below the glide slope, you're going to see something different than if you're in the slot on the glide slope. And if you're too high, you're going to see something completely different. But again, the lights don't change. Where you're at determines the color you see through the lens. Hopefully that made sense because it is not easy to explain. All right. So a VASI, V-A-S-I as in visual approach slope indicator. There's nothing precise about the VASI right? There's four lights. It can be two red. It can be red and white. It can be all white. And clearly here, it's easy to remember. If you see all red, something's not right. You are below glide path. If it's all white, you're too high. What you're looking to see is red over white. And there's a saying about that, pilot's delight. Red over white, pilot's delight. Red over red could be dead. But what we're aiming for is to be right in the slot. Red over white, that's what you're looking for. And again, only three indications for the VASI. All right. So that's something to remember right there, as opposed to the PAPI. Now, this is a precision approach path indicator. Look at the different options here. Again, there's only four different lights. There's only four total things pointing at you, but five different combinations and outcomes, not to mention the way it's laid out horizontally as opposed to two rows vertically. All white will tell you that you are more than three and a half degrees above the glide slope or, or you're above a three and a half degree glide slope. If it's three white, one red, you're slightly high. If it's two white, two red, you are in the slot. You are on that three degree glide path. Three red, you're slightly low. And if it's all red, you are less than a two and a half degree glide slope to the runway. So that's the thing to remember Remember right here. PAPI, the P, stands for precision, and precision has a lot more options in terms of telling you exactly where you're at. This is a much more precise way of determining your glide slope. Okay, so quick, what are we seeing right there on the runway? A PAPI or a VASI? Right? Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that's simple to remember, and if you're teaching students... Hopefully this is a way that you can pass on to them of how to actually remember. 